So, you found me. <laughs> Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I've decided to change my focus a little bit. Instead of doing all the missions and everything, I'm going to do stranger missions and maybe some side missions and put that on the channel because, to be honest with you, it is an extremely long game. Now, this is my take on the Vampire Hunter sort of mini mission that you undertake by accident or if you didn't know about it, it's kind of an Easter egg mission. And, well, it's interesting. You get a unique weapon as well. So let's get on with what I call Arthur Morgan Vampire Hunter. First clue is over here, and it's on this wall between two double doors. And it reads, I drink from the maiden and live again in the dead. Arthur writes this down in his journal and draws a little map where the location is, and then if you move on and you find another clue, then Arthur Morgan will document it. And the next and second clue is right near the trapper. Right next to where you enter the market for the trapper, there's this metal gate. And you open this up. And to your knee left is the second clue. And it reads along the lines of, I, I can't see it, but Arthur Morgan writes it down and then draws a little location map and you can move on to the next clue. You don't have to do it in order as long as you document and find each clue. then. When you find them all, you will eventually unlock the vampire Easter egg. Is something wrong? Enough of your mischief. You're about to earn <laughs> yourself. <laughs> One good. <laughs> ah. Enough of your nonsense. <laughs> After that fight, the third, um, how shall I say, clue is behind the butcher market, and you can inspect the mysterious writings, five bones and perfect Nosferatu. He writes it, and again, it's behind the butcher stall and general store stall. And it's not on the front of the street. you got to walk through the general store in order to get to it. Now, the next clue is nearby, but it's very hard to locate. Ah. You ain't supposed to be here. He's not right in the head, huh? I knew you was yellow. The fourth clue is actually in an area you're better off entering at night because these people seem to not like Mr. Morgan. And now I got to disturbing the peace and I got to run away from the law and get the wanted level paid off or whatever I need to do. And yeah, you're better off going at night and just getting away from the people here. I'm just going to cut scene to the search for the fourth clue. 
Now, the clue is in the area where Mr. Morgan got chased out, but you got to go through an arch and then look through and look to the, how shall I say, immediate right there, this arch, and it's to the immediate left. And you got to look and focus on it, and there is the fourth clue. And you inspect it, and Mr. Morgan makes a note in his journal and, again, writes down the location. The fifth location is actually nearby as well, but it's even harder to find. Now you can see where Mr. Morgan is for the fourth code or location, clue location. This is where the fifth clue is supposed to be located, not too far away. But you can run around these alleyways and search and look, and you'll just run by it half a dozen times. So I'm going to cut to where Mr. Morgan finds the fifth and final clue. The fifth and final clue is the stairs right here. Um, if you walk Mr. Morgan up the stairs, and you walk up these stairs, right to the immediate right is this area. And in this alcove right here is the fifth and final clue. You would never see it. You would never guess it. You could run by it half a dozen times. And this is where you inspect it. And once you inspect the mysterious writings, Mr. Morgan will make a note of it in his journal. And then he will draw this pentagram. And it will point to the location where the vampire is. And it's the cathedral just across the street from the cathedral of you know, St. Dennis Cathedral. And it's in an alleyway, back alcove. Again, it shows the location, and it's actually the center of the pentagram where the vampire is going to be found, or at least sort of in the center of the pentagram. So let's get on with this whole vampire hunting thing. I switched to the main map immediately after, and as you can see, you will see in the center, the pentagram you would have seen is where the vampire is located, and the cathedral is right across the street, but then across the street from the cathedral is where the vampire would appear, and the vampire only appears between and it's right here. The vampire only appears between midnight and 1 o'clock in that alley. Otherwise, if you're too late or too early, you have to wait around. And you're better off being too early. Now, I think it's now past the time where the vampire would be. But I'm going to run out and run around to this alleyway. You don't even have to go past the cathedral. But let's see. I want to see what have I, I got. Anything to help. Pocket watch. And I can't see the time, which sucks. So I'm going to run over to this alleyway. And I'm going to use the double-barreled, well, my pistol. And... Let's see. There's people here, so the vampire is not going to be here. But this is the alleyway 
where the vampire would be. Again, you can't be there before the vampire shows up. You have to be there around when the vampire shows up. So the best way to do this is I'm going to send Mr. Morgan to to a um, saloon, get something to eat, get a place to stay, sleep, and until the night time, and then I will be able to get the vampire. Mr. Morgan has slept in a saloon room until night time, and he is ready and well rested. Then hopefully the vampire will show up. And he should, if I did this right, when you go to the location as indicated and that I'd showed previously, the vampire should be there. And I'm going to fast forward to the event. Now, if you see in your radar as you approach, you'll see a black X and you know the vampire is there. So, you found me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> What, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. Okay, I forgot to pick up the knife, so that's why I was looking in my inventory. There's the ornate dagger, and you pick that up, and that is added to your inventory. I chose to shoot the vampire rather than hog tie him or do whatever, but yeah, the ornate dagger is now in the inventory, replacing a normal knife. Ah, uh, that's it. This is either some psycho who thinks he's a vampire, or it was actually a vampire. Whether or not it matters, no one called the cops when you shot them. And that is a good thing. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video interesting, hit the like button. Leave a feel, feel free to leave a comment. I try and respond to all comments. If you like this type of video, well, hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss out because I post four videos in regards to video games a week, and you never know what I will post. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks. For stopping by.